Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Project Ozone 3. I am Mr. Envelope, and today uh, we're going to be trying to get a whole bunch of uh, Lordcraft done and hopefully get started in Botania. Um, yeah, so all we really have to do for Lordcraft is finish up a few quests. What am I doing? Uh, e, R, okay, just air, I guess. Uh, T, E, R, R, A. Terra, <laughs> a U U A Aqua I G N I S. Okay. L U X. Awesome. Welcome back, guys, <laughs> to another episode of Project Ozone. Uh, I'm Mr. Envelope, and we finally have enough of these inscription tiles. I did, you know, all the farming that we did last episode, and. Uh, in between episodes, uh, we got all the ember crystals we need. Uh, I set up, you can see it back over there, I set up uh, just a really small manual farm for the mithril uh, over in the testing grounds along with some blaze powder. And uh, now we have a bunch of inscription tiles and uh, also that's going to be our Botania Island. We'll go check that out later. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get started in Botania today. Um... But yeah, we're, we're finally, I think, ready, we're, or we're able to now, now that we have all these unlocked, uh, to craft all of the uh, different crystal types. And in fact, that is one of our quests. Um, all we've done is make the, the, the doll crystal, I guess, and we need to make all these other colors. And some of them, like the pure crystal, uh, they are made by combining all your other crystals along with some of these void catalysts, which require Eyes of Ender and these man-infused shards. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Um, hopefully, too, today, we'll make the Void Forge. Um, I think it's it's part of one of our quests uh, to make the Void Forge. I'm hoping that it's going to be an even faster version of the Advanced Forge. <laughs> so maybe we can get some of this other stuff done quicker. But the recipe for the Void Forge, uh, well, one, it requires... What's the difference? What's the difference between all these? That takes four of those. This takes what? Oh, I don't know the difference. <laughs> um, interesting. Well, um, it's something to work towards. What does what does the quest book say? It just wants the Void Forge, and this is. Well, I'm confused. None of these are called the Void Forge. <laughs> um, we'll we'll figure it out. But um, oh no, this one. There we go. Right? And that's made with pure crystals. Okay, that's something we can work towards. Correct. Correct. Okay, back to back to this. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, let's go ahead and try to craft up some of these crystals. I've also been trying to make a few of these uh, simple crystals because they're needed for like all these different um, crystal recipes. So... Oh, maybe I shouldn't make that many. <laughs> uh, but this is how we do all the different ones. They each require their own thing. Uh-oh, we're like already out of everything. I need to make more simple crystals. <laughs> um, let's try using the coal. This will give us the orange ones. All right, let me farm up some more of the simple crystals. But you get the idea. All of these have like their own recipe. Is wood one of them? I don't think wood's one of them. I know glasses and water. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let me go ahead and make some more of these. Whoops, <laughs> I totally forgot that we have a whole bunch of crystals already made in this uh, barrel. Just ran out of space in here. Um, so let's get the rest of these going. Um, oh, whoops, did I make too many? Nope, perfect. Okay, uh, then we have glass. Nope, I guess glass wasn't one of them. Guess I'm just making things up. Uh, we got the blue one right here, and I think that might be all the, the ones that we can, like, craft, right? Oh, no, 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 we got yellow. Um... Because some of them are going to require some, like, weird things, almost. And then let's make just a few more of the dull ones, right? Just so we have 32 of each one. There we go. <laughs> uh, I think that's it, right? Um, we have those, have that, have that. Okay, and we have these. And these ones are the special ones. The Verdant, Spacious, and Pure. Uh, the Verdant requires uh, Mystical Flower Clusters and Bright and Dense Crystals. Uh, and if we want these mystical flower clusters, we have to get some Botania stuff going. And if we want Botania stuff going, we have to make these bright crystals, I think is what unlocks it. So let's check the quest book. Yeah, all those are good. Let's claim these. 
Um, and then where is Botania on here? Oh yeah, Botania. We have to start with the Mystical Fertilizer. Um, that is uh, actually a different recipe. There we go. Uh, the Floral Fertilizer. Uh, it's a different recipe in this pack. It takes a Bright Crystal and then die. And then you get three of them. Um, so I think... Let's try to get all the crystals made. So by doing so, we're going to have to dip our toes in Botania just a little bit. Uh, let's grab some dye. Luckily, we have all of these cocoa beans, which I'm going to be holding on to for Botania stuff too. Uh, they'll be helpful there. Uh, but let's do this. So we don't want to make too many. Let's go with just 24 for now. Uh, and then let's go to a patch of grass. We can check out the Botania Island. You can see... I tried to make space for a little bit of everything here, uh, everything Botania that is, so yeah, you can kind of <laughs> see, I thought, you know, a tree in the middle looked kind of cool, it's just an oak tree, but I think it still looks like it fits here, pretty nice. Uh, this is going to be like our really small workstation for Botania. Uh, I plan on setting up a living rock and living wood farm right here, and then these steps take you up to another level which I plan to put the elven portal uh, and even though we're keeping all of our portals uh, on an island back over there uh, the elven portal is actually different I think it's called the elven portal um, but it's actually different in Botania it doesn't take you anywhere it's just kind of like a structure you use um, yeah so that's that's the plan for Botania Island we might need to add more to it because I kind of forget exactly what we're gonna have to be doing um, yeah, and sorry for building this island off camera too, I just, I kind of got carried away <laughs> and just kept going once I started uh, planning something out. Um, but some of the future islands that we build, because, you know, everything we do is going to have its own island. Um, some of the future builds that we do though, you know, we'll, we'll do them all together. Let's put those in there. Do we have one of each type? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I think we're missing one, but that's pretty good. I didn't think we would get all the different colors. Uh, you know what? We should probably store all of these flowers at Botania Island, even though we're going to be using them uh, for Lordcraft in just a second. Um, we're going to also... So we need... That'll give us two. This will give us one more. Uh, we should also try to get enough of that uh, floral essence stuff. Um... We should try to get enough of it to make some mystical agriculture seeds of it. So here, this is what I mean. Uh, with these flowers, we're trying to make this the flower cluster thing. We need one of them for Lordcraft, and then we're going to need four of them for um, mystical agriculture. So with these, we can make seeds. There we go. Is it going to play a song? There we go. <laughs> uh, so we can keep those. We'll 10, 10, 10 those later. Uh, with those seeds, I assume we'll be able to make all the flowers in case we somehow run out. Uh, and then with this, we also wanted to do this guy. Make some verdant crystals. Hopefully this is going to be all we need. I don't want to make more. <laughs> uh, right? Is that good enough? There we go. Uh, and then do these have like any particular use? Oh! These are used to make the apothecary. Right? That's the only recipe? That's pretty cool. Alright, well let's keep two aside over at Botania Island. Um, wow, uh, Lordcraft and Botania are really tied together in this pack. <laughs> Did not realize that. Um, okay, so we do these have any other use? Do we, do we have to make more? It doesn't look like it. Does this have a use? Nope, we can paint it. I don't think we're going to paint it though. Um, what are the other ones? We need to make the Spacious Crystal. That is with an empowered void crystal. Oh. This requires the whole setup. Oh, I did not expect that. Um. Well, maybe we'll skip this one for today. We don't have a lot of, um, actually addition stuff set up. Uh, and then the pure crystal, does it require it? No, it doesn't. So this one we can kind of get started with. Uh, we need to make these mana infused shards, which we've done before. These, those require the two mana infused dust and, uh, these are just two redstone, so we're going to have to grind through this a little bit. Uh, hey, uh-oh, hey, <laughs> there we go. Get that going. Nope, you're not going to let me. Give it some power. 
there we go. So I'm going to have to grind through this again really quick. Um, it shouldn't take too long. You know, this goes by a lot quicker than I expected. And then we'll see if we can get this pure crystal going. I forget exactly what it... Why we want this. Is this what... Well, we have to make one regardless for our quests. But what else does this do? Oh, it gives us the Astral Tome. Okay. That is something that we need to do. Um, the Astral Tome, it can give us the Void Workbench. And... Oh, we need them for the Void Forge. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to grind out a whole bunch of these. So I'll be back again in a sec because this is a little boring. Alright guys, so uh, we're kind of at a little pickle, in a way. <laughs> I did all the research that we're supposed to do, and we're still stuck on some of them. We're stuck on the void research. Is this gonna go? Yeah. Uh, if we take a look in the book, you can see I've done all the research here, but we're stuck on all this stuff. All of it. Uh, everything down here is completed, uh, but all this void stuff is still locked. And I'm starting to remember that with this mod, there is a dimension, I, I remembered that, but I think we have to go there in order to unlock the void stuff. Uh, or the void tier of this mod, whatever that is. <laughs> um, and to get there, we have to make this translocation matrix, which is kind of a pain in the butt just waiting on some things to, you know, cook together or melt together, whatever's happening inside of this. Um, what was the other one? It was like the diamond one. This one. Uh, it's with a this stuff with a diamond or an emerald. Um, so I made both of these, and now we're making uh, the other half of this quest line. So we have the translocation matrix. We're going to make the translocation marker just to, you know, finish the quest and see if it'll help us along. Um, this one is translocation marker just with an ender pearl. Do we have to use an ender pearl, or can I use my friender pearl? We have to use an ender pearl. <laughs> Dang it. And there we go. One translocation marker made. Uh, put that in there. Uh, quest complete. We did it. And now we got the ascension matrix. Which just wants us to make the ascension matrix. I don't know what this is. But it looks important. <laughs> uh, this one. Oh. We have to make another translocation matrix. Or we can use the one that we have. Um... And then we have to make one of these? Oh no. Oh no! Okay, well I gotta farm up some more of these simple crystals because I don't think we have enough um, to make what we gotta make. Wait, how bad was this? We just need to make one of each one. And then each one takes four? Okay, yeah, this might actually take a while. So let me farm up some more of these uh, simple crystals again. And uh, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, good. We're done. We did it. All of them. <laughs> so many steps in this mod, I swear. Um, we need at least uh, 12. No, 24 of these. So we got that one. This one. Thanks for the bucket. This one. Oh, no, we just did that one. Don't do it. <laughs> Pay attention. Got the blue. Got white. Um, what else was there? Quartz. Yep, that was a color. Quartz is a color. Uh, crap. Uh, I got this. Coal. Yes, there we go. Okay, so that's all of those. And you know what? We're just going to go ahead and uh, use this thing. I don't think we're supposed to, but I'm going to see what happens if there's any repercussions for it. <laughs> uh, and there we go. We did it. And this is going to be what uh, teleports us. I was reading in the quest book. Uh, this is what teleports us to the different place, and you know what for now? Let's just stick it at the end of this island right here. Uh oh, I should be more careful <laughs> uh, Does this need a oh, okay, it's going I was just being hasty Okay, we're not falling. All right. We're good. We're here. We did it. Okay um, But check this out guys. This is a uh, a place Definitely a looker right? Um, very pretty nice dimension um we got some of the can i fly here yes <laughs> got some of those uh light blocks or not light blocks the uh, crystal blocks right here i don't know if we're able to mine them i imagine we'd be able to but i don't think you're supposed to 
Um, and from what I remember in the lore book, once you get here, you're supposed to, like, talk to somebody? Here's a lever. Uh, <laughs> which... Wow, this is something, you know? Uh, which one do we do? Let's go with the, the black one, since that's where we started. Lordic Summoner? Is that... Do we give you some of these? No? Let's read the book. Uh, are we supposed to right click and stand on here? I remember coming here before and um, there being like a, a villager type guy standing on one of these. Uh, also, really quick, let's uh, mine this. <laughs> this is uh, for astral sorcery. Oh, can we not mine it? Oh, lame. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, oh, there we go. I just right click the block. Uh, greetings, Bellos. <laughs> I am pleased to meet you. I am Aqua, Overlord of Water. The others here would not trust you, but I have a plan that may change their minds. Do you wish to hear my plan? Sure. Uh, I'm glad that you wish to please me. Um, why don't they trust me? Your predecessor wasn't particularly amicable. In fact, uh, she was very hostile to us. The others believe that such thoughts... <laughs> that thought <laughs> might transfer along with the power of Thelos. I, on the other hand, do not believe this. I seek to prove the others wrong. Plan. My plan is to make you my apprentice. I accept. Uh, good. I shall give you a task to prove yourself. Return here once you are done, and I shall award you with your first spell. It shall be done. What's my first task? Did I, uh, learn research? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, the void power stuff's unlocked already. Okay. So, does that mean it's done in the quest as well? No, because it wants us to make a void crystal. Uh, okay. You know what? I think that's all we need from here. Let's go ahead and skedaddle. All right, so now, um, can we do, let's just do more while I talk real quick. Um, we're back, and everything is kind of good. I don't know what task that person gave us. Uh, I don't know how much more of Lordcraft we have to do. <laughs> um, but I think, you know, we unlocked this. This one's still locked. That's okay, I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, but we unlocked this. I think we're able to make the Void Forge now. I would think so. Um... Void Forge requires void power, which we have. This one takes uh, all of these pure crystals. Um, I think it might be worth investing in that, but if we... Let's look at the quest really quick. Well, we have to make it eventually. And I have a feeling that no matter what, we're going to have to come back to this mod somehow uh, for some reason. So yeah, maybe we should try to go for that first. First, uh, I was going to try to make the um, the Astral Tome and just call it a day, but I think we should try to get enough to make the Void Forge and then, you know, we'll we'll feel better about leaving this mod for the day. Um, but before we do all that, uh, let's go ahead and make uh, our first Pure Crystal. Uh, it's going to require three of these Void Catalysts, and then once this is done, we'll, we're technically done with... Uh, Lordcraft for the day, then we can go jump over to Botania. Alright guys, we got three of these Void Catalysts, and instead of dragging all these, let's just uh, quickly craft them. There we go, first Void, here Crystal, not Void, not Void. <laughs> uh, there we go, that one's done, another quest, done, 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 beautiful. Um... What's this one? The Runestone Crafter? Oh yeah, I was looking at this a second ago. We have to make a Staff Crafter, which we get from using a uh, workbench. Which we've had an extra one for a little bit. And then, uh, we have to give it all this stuff. Uh, <laughs> I don't really uh, think that's important right now. Maybe that's something we'll do once we have the Void uh, Forge. But uh, all this is uh, donezo for now. We're gonna leave it, toss it aside. Pop it all in here. We don't want to touch it or deal with it. I think we've spent enough time with Lordcraft. I'll honestly probably try to get enough of those Void Crystals in between episodes. Uh, maybe we'll pop back and do it soon, but I don't I don't think so. Um, yeah, let's just leave that for now. You know what? I need to go grab some shears. Uh, shears, bone meal, uh, iron, maybe some ender pearls. Uh, I'll grab them with you since I'm here. <laughs> some gold. Let's grab some buckets too. Um, ooh, let's grab 
some of these black lotus the blacker ones overgrowth seeds you know all this good stuff um we're gonna get started with botania now uh i'm pretty happy and excited <laughs> uh because i really like botania and there's one thing that i've really been wanting from it it's the um rod of the shifting crust is this everything we're gonna need Let's grab some redstone too i have a feeling we're gonna have to run back here anyway so i don't know why i'm trying to be all efficient oh and i need bones 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 and gunpowder <laughs> bones there we go okay so uh botania if you don't know this this mod is actually i think it's been completed for a long time um like not a whole lot has changed from it and uh because of that i feel like it's one of the mo one, one of the more stable mods um and it's like super fleshed out too so oops didn't mean for that um, so what that means is hopefully this isn't going to be too difficult. Do we have those crystals here? We do. And we need cobblestone. God dang it. <laughs> All right. I also brought over the, uh, mushrooms that we got last episode too. Um, but let's see, we want to make the, this fella. We also need a mystical flower cluster. So, uh, let's grab four more flowers that we're probably not going to need. Hopefully. Uh, do that really quick and then how did the rest go I already forgot just some stone okay we can do that easy peasy so we start with this petal apothecary uh, it's different in this pack uh, other packs it might be uh, a lot easier but this one it is not uh, we're gonna also want some buckets of water um, some seeds which I grabbed plenty of and you're gonna want all of these flower these uh mystical flowers from botania you're gonna want all of them um but to really get started you're gonna want these white ones and uh if you put them in your crafting bench or a crafting window you could turn them into these uh flower petals and then you could plant those in the ground get bone meal and look at that you got more <laughs> uh we're probably not going to be doing uh this whole setup for long uh this is kind of a temporary thing because um hopefully we'll be able to use the essence and stuff from mystical agriculture and we won't have to do this anymore but whoop <laughs> um for now this is a super easy way and efficient way i would say to get more of these petals uh so let me just get a little bit more i think i lost some uh but okay so we have enough of these uh what we're gonna be doing how you do this is uh, we're gonna be making some magical flowers <laughs> and uh, these flowers are made uh, typically inside of here your apothecary so what you want to do is drop a bucket of water uh, this particular recipe that we're doing is uh, the pure daisy and it's made with four whoops it's made with four of these white petals so we're gonna drop whoop, uh, we're gonna drop four of them into the apothecary and then once we have all the petals that we need uh, we're gonna drop a seed and then bam it gives you the flower <laughs> nice we did it um and then over here is going to be where we plant them um the the white daisy is uh very very important so i would say make whoop make uh two of them cool there we go um and what these do cool um they will turn stone and wood into uh botania variants and these are very important blocks we're gonna make uh living wood with the wood and living stone with the stone and it takes i think like five minutes no that doesn't seem right it takes some time not a whole lot it'll go by really fast and you can't automate these uh what i typically do is i'll put block placers underneath and then have it so where, where I'll push a button or something or a pressure plate and then it'll place some um, and then I'll manually harvest it I don't really mind having to manually harvest I don't ever really feel like I use this stuff too much um, but you're gonna need a little bit to get started with the mod oh there we go it's turning so we got living wood right here you can vein mine that and living stone right here cool so that's a little bit of that done let's go ahead and make uh, more I'll we'll set up the uh, auto bits in a minute it's not too important right now I don't think um, 
one of the first things we want to craft are some of these living wood sticks uh, go like this and this is very very important uh, you're gonna want to pick some colored flowers <laughs> um, I'm gonna go red and cyan so we're gonna get the petals from these and we're gonna place them like that and this is gonna be our wand this is how we manipulate mana and stuff the like the the magic inside of Botania we're gonna be using this to manipulate all of that so it's very important you pick colors that you like because you're gonna be using it <laughs> and you don't want to waste a bunch of these flowers um so that part is done the next thing we can do with the living stone is make our mana pool this is like your storage for mana uh, very important um, I'm gonna say we want this right here <laughs> hopefully I don't regret that um, you I think you can move these but I'm, I'm not sure I, I typically don't cuz I'm afraid I'm gonna waste it all uh, let's put down more of this stuff just gotta farm a little bit more and let's store that there store that there and let's also lock these cool Um, so those flowers that we just made, the pure daisies, they, um, they don't make mana. They just make the living wood and the, why'd I do that? Uh, they make the living wood and the living rock. Um, but what we want to do next is make a flower that's going to generate some, uh, mana. Some of that good stuff that we were, uh, just talking about. So we're going to get some, how did that happen? <laughs> did I plant the red? I don't remember. Um, we're going to want to. Oh no, I just totally ruined that. You're supposed to use shears. Oh, lame. Do we have cyan in here? We don't. Okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. This is why we made the seeds over here. Okay, there we go. We got some uh, essence right here. Oh man, can't believe I did that. But I also can believe it. Uh, we want some cyan. There we go. Let's just go with this. And this, you know, it should be plenty. Uh, let's put that in there. We also want some blue. There we go. Make sure you're using your shears. <laughs> uh, otherwise, you'll be just as big a fool as me. Alright guys, so this flower that we're going to be making is going to cost two, whoop, two cyans, uh, two blue petals, and a seed. There we go. And it's called the Hydrangea. There you go, I think I said that right. <laughs> um, and what this flower does is it's gonna get mana, or it makes mana by um, sucking up water. Um, so check this out. If I put this down right here and a drop of water, um, the plant consumed the whole bucket. Um, and what it did was it's turning the, those water sources into uh, mana. So what we wanna do is, uh oh. What we want to do is put this flower uh, next to a source of water. So right here, it'll be able to suck it up through here. And hopefully, <laughs> uh, with this source and this source here, uh, it should refill itself if it gets consumed right here. So uh, this guy should have some mana inside. Can we see that? It probably has a really small amount. Um, no, we can't do that. So what we have to do to send the mana from the flower to here is make a mana spreader. That is done. One of these things. Mana spreader. Uh, we need something like this. Uh, you know, let's use one of those mushrooms because I kind of don't want to waste them. <laughs> but I don't want to use them either. There we go. Mana spreader. Quest complete. We're the best. Uh, let's go like this. So those two are linked. And this, oh wait no, now these two are linked. Any mana that this receives is gonna go in here. And, is it linked? Can we, can it not get it? There's a big X next to it, so I'm, I'm confused. Oh wait no, it's good. We linked it. Um, yeah, so this should be getting a little bit of mana eventually. We'll see, it. We'll, we will physically be able to see it uh, once it's inside. There we go. Okay, I kind of realized after a minute or two, whoops, that uh, it's probably waiting till it fills up a certain amount, and then it's going to spread what it can. 
Uh, so this is what mana looks like inside the pool, and yeah, we can just drop in all of these Black Lotus, and uh, you can see it fill up super quickly. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, you know what we should probably do too? Let's go pick up some of this mana steel that uh, we've been getting from the mob farm. Uh, this stuff isn't hard to make. We just drop in a piece of uh, iron whoop, inside the mana pool, um, and then it turns into this stuff. But uh, why do that if we can just pick some up right now? <laughs> uh, with this, we should be able to make a ring, right? Um, oh, look at that. Puffer fish. Pretty neat. What's this? Clay? Ring of correction. Okay, I, I just want to make a, a mana ring. Is that is that going to be too difficult to make? Ring of correction. There we go. The band of mana. Uh, we need to make a mana tablet, which is living rock and a mana pearl or a mana diamond. <laughs> Saying mana like this sounds weird, uh, but let's go ahead with the pearl. Um, so we just pop that in and we get it back right away. The mana pearl, grab some living wood and some living rock, uh, refill the farm. And we're going to go like so, whoops, make the mana tablet. There we go. Band of mana. Awesome. And what this will do, uh, we can drop this inside right there and we right click, no shift, right click. Uh, what it's doing now is it's putting all of the mana that it can inside of the ring. Uh oh, we should probably make sure this doesn't empty out. <laughs> uh, the point of the hydrangea, by the way, is just to get like a little base of mana started inside of the, the pool. Um, otherwise, these uh, black lotus, they're not going to work. I think I've said that before. Uh, but it's full. Full-ish, right? Put a little bit more in there. There we go. Should be good? Yeah, it's full. Uh, and what this can do is we can put it in our bobble. And every time we use some like botania tools or sorcery, um, it'll just pull mana from our like inventory pretty much. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. We can go ahead and break this now. Hopefully we won't need to use it anymore. Uh, typically when people start this, they'll make the pure daisy or not the pure daisy. Um, like the, the day bloom, I think is what it's called or the night bloom. And what those do is they'll just slowly generate mana from being in the sun, the day bloom. And the night bloom will do that uh, for the moon. Uh, but I think it's disabled in this pack because it's uh, a little too easy, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, we had to go with something a little more fancy. And I think these will actually die over time. I'm not too sure about that. Um, but yeah, the next step that we should do with Botania is make the uh, altar. Uh, but before we do that, I just remembered that we have some of these runes that we got from a uh, loot bag not too long ago so let's take these back uh let's pop them in there for now <laughs> uh hold on to this and let's see what we need to make an altar okay guys so we're kind of crunching on time here uh but we can do just one last thing i think we have just enough time to make the uh the altar thing uh so let's grab another mana pearl let's stick it in our crafting fella and there we go, we got the altar. Episode done, goodbye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, oh jeez, I feel like I'm talking really fast. I just woke up and it's the next day, so I'm a little excited to be alive again. Uh, <laughs> so here's the altar. This is where a lot of the uh, like crazy mumbo magic happens. Um, let's put this here. Uh, you know what, we can actually probably just move this one. So let's put this like so. Let's link those up. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want this to go there. And this is on... Yeah, okay, so this should be good. Uh, we're taking the mana from here and we're throwing it here. Uh, and first, well, one of our quests is to make all of these different um, runes. Uh, the runes are kind of how you get things going in Botania. Uh, these things, uh, there are... The Rune of Mana. Which one's this again? I'm glad that it counted us getting the runes from the loot bag <laughs> as uh, us completing it. The Rune of Mana. We can do this one really quick to show how it works. 
Uh, so it's going to take one, two, three, four, five. Five of uh, those, five mana ingots. It's going to take a mana pearl. So we just throw that on top or completely miss. <laughs> throw it on top and uh, it's going, right? Or is it done? It might be done. Oh, no, it's going. Uh, I was going to say, that little bar on the, the right, the little circle, the rune, it's like filling up with... Um, mana right now oh that's going awfully slow <laughs> uh i wonder if there's a way to upgrade that also we need to go spend some time over at the the mob farm <laughs> i feel like uh, i haven't been loading it like we're so far away i haven't been like loading it so um we're not getting like nearly as many mob drops i think maybe if we can find some uh draconium uh, we can make seeds of it, and then we can get enough to make a, a stabilized mob spawner. I think that would be cool. Oh, this is done. So then whenever your thingy's done, uh, you throw some living rock. <laughs> not your, not your wand. You throw some living rock on top, uh, and then you right click, and you made your rune. That should be a quest done, right? Nice. Okay, but what we really got to do, we're trying to make the Rod of the Shifting Crust. And to get that, we need to make the Autumn Rod, or the Autumn Rune. That takes the Rune of Fire, the Rune of Air. So, Fire, Air. It is so nice having these ones already made. Like, this isn't a pain in the butt or anything, but it's just super handy for this particular episode right now. <laughs> oh, did I not grab Spider Eyes? Dang it. There we go, first try. Ignore the ones on the ground. Um, so the spider eye goes there, and this will make the autumn rune. And then once we have the autumn rune, we need to make the rune of the sloth. Um, it goes by elements, seasons, and then seven deadly sins. <laughs> uh, nice, clean. Oh, we have to make... Oh, no, we have air. Let's grab the air one, rune of air. We mix that with the autumn that we're making, and then two mana diamonds. We don't have diamonds here. All right, throw our living rock. Ooh, and we get these back. I forgot about that. Okay, uh, so now we got to get some clean inventory. So let's dump that in there. Uh, we need one, two. Did we get them? Yeah. Okay. So one, two. Uh, we need one air, one autumn, and it's working on making the sloth. Awesome. So now, gotta wait a little bit, and then we'll have our rod of the shifting crust. And, oh, come on. Don't tease me like that. There we go. <laughs> all done. So we got the sloth rune. Uh, let's stick this on top. We're going to have to make all of these, but we'll do that next episode. Uh, and there we go. Rod of the Shifting Crust. And you can see in our uh, experience bar, we got that uh, blue tint to it now. There's uh, showing us uh, how much mana we have because we made our... Um, band of mana so as we use this um, we will uh, be consuming the mana that we've stored inside in the ring um, so really quick <laughs> what I want to do what this uh, rod is why I want it so bad is it is actually like uh, that uh, a rod of equal exchange from what's that mod called <laughs> uh, Thomcraft there you go and I never really got into Thomcraft, but uh, I did learn about this thing. And what it does is, can I, there you go. Uh, you can just left click to exchange one block or to right click and it'll do like a whole bunch. Aha, <laughs> super cool. And this is what I wanted to do. And you know what? I don't think I really like this. <laughs> I thought this would be like the best way to show you how it works whenever we got to it. Cause it's what we're working towards this episode. Um, but you know, looking at it, I don't really like how this looks, so I might change it back. Or maybe we'll do like some smooth stone variant. Um, but with this rod too, uh, I'm hoping that we'll be able to not really shape the islands more, but, uh, we can pretty them up and everything. Uh, like once I make something completely out of, or I can make stuff out of cobblestone now and then just change how it looks on the outside. <gasps> Oops. Um, you know. It'll be a lot easier and stuff. But uh, anyways, guys, that is going to have to be it for this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, 
got a little taste of Botania. I really enjoy this mod, and we'll be doing, I think, a little bit more next episode, probably. Uh, I wanted to do... Uh, oh god, here comes my cat. I wanted to do... Um, uh, what's that mod? Applied Energistics. I wanted to get that going today, but I don't think we have time, so I'll see you in the next one. Am I gonna land? Oh, nailed it. Bye-bye, guys.